Hello, I'm Mira and welcome to Flow with Mira. It's roller class day. We're going to work on our balance and proprioception and challenge our core with this amazing thing. So let's go. Meet me on a mat. We're going to stand up to start. Place a roller on the floor. We're going to work on the arch of our foot. So standing tall, I want you to place one foot over your roller. Here, I want you to try to mold the foot over the roller or mold the foot onto the roller shape. And I want you to just reach out. I'm going to step back. I'm going to reach out and extend the leg, but still try to mold the foot over the roller. And I will bring it back and keep rounding the feet. So we're working on the intrinsic muscles of the feet, the arch of the feet. It's going to give you a good support while you stand, you walk, you run, whenever you use your feet, basically. So we're going to work on it. You may have a few cramps while you do this, um, but power through. It will go away. Check it out if you do. So reach out and point and keep curling or rounding like a birch, like a bird on a perching on a on a branch. We're gonna over, go over and we go over under and repeat. So point and curl it. So in Pilates, we have this exercise on a reformer called the prehensile, where you mount your foot and wrap your foot over on the foot bar, working on the arch of the foot. So basically, this is it and switch. Other side. So I have my left foot here. I'm gonna mold my foot over the roller and I'm gonna straighten my leg and allow my foot to point over. So I find that this foot is a little bit more challenging for me. So I just observe which is which foot is a little trickier for you. You can see my foot is shaking here. The reason why is because I sprained my ankle, my left ankle really badly when I was in Morocco. We were playing soccer on the top of a mountain and it was very rocky and I tore my ligament uh -huh, on my tree. And I tell you that, and I was on crutches walking all around the souk, it's shaking, shaking, and it's just good for my foot. And it took me a long time to recover. In fact, it's still shaking now. Um, I did it when I was 20, 27, you know, a good 11 years ago. and. I'm still recovering from it. But that doesn't mean that I cannot run or anything. I can, but I just need a lot more tension on this foot and strengthen that muscle. So I'm working my interesting muscle on underneath my metatarsal. Yeah, with this. It's a great one for you to work the strength of it, especially if you are runners. This is to go exercise. Let's do one more time. All right, tell you what. Traveling and spreading your foot and being on a crutches for two weeks, no fun, no good. <laughs> and come back. Actually, I tore really good one, not just, not just actually sprain my ankle. All right, so let's go bring it, the roller onto the mat. Let's face the other way. All right, here, we're going to start with some release, releasing exercises for the back and the obliques. So I want you to lie on the roller somewhere around your mid back here. Hands behind your head here. Now lifting the pelvis and I just want you to, like an iron, I want to iron out the kinks of your back. Walk your feet back and forward and try to be as flat as you can with your back here. So there's no hard rules here. I want you to just, you know, move around as you wish to release any kinks you have in your back, any way you like. So you just have to walk up and down with your foot or your feet and walk up as high as you can so the roller can go as low as you feel comfortable here. You know, I live in Jakarta where traditional massage is super amazing and super accessible, but during this pandemic, this global pandemic, I haven't actually had any massage for almost a year and a half. So this is my to go to massage, self-massage. If I feel pretty tight, or pretty sore, pretty tense, especially after I work on my back a lot. So go for it. Whatever your back calls you to do, you go for it. Bend it sideways, go a bit diagonal, roll away from your mat almost. You have to reset. 
And let's just do a little bit more, maybe a few snap, crackle, pops on your back. If you're lucky, I got mine earlier today. Okay, and release that. All right, now let's go into the obliques here. We're going to lie sideways. The roller will be placed somewhere between your rib cage and your hips, so not really on the bone. So I want you to lie on the roller, mold your waist on top of it, bend the knees, stack the legs. The forearm, the bottom arm can go onto your forearm, and if you feel comfortable, you are welcome to go a little lower, like so. It's up to you, you have to listen to your body. I'm gonna do this version, top hand behind your head. What we're going to do is we're going to rotate forward and allow your belly muscle to fall over the roller. And center, and you're going to roll backward. You will may get your quadratus lumbar, your QL, your back muscle, and breathe into this, and rotate and rotate back how fast how slow i leave it up to you whatever feels comfortable for you you may also go a little lower if your body is calling you to go deeper if it doesn't and you feel comfortable being higher up please stay higher up all right maybe you want to support your head because your neck is not comfortable you can do so and support your head and just again freestyle the upper arm one more in breath and back. Okie doke. Let's go to the other side. Whee. All right, so we have two sides, fortunately. And mold here. I'm going to have to move my um, radio. Okay. Mold my waist onto the roller. And then go ahead. If you're ready, you go for it. And we're gonna roll forward and we're gonna roll backward. Again, if your body calls you to go a little bit deeper, a little bit lower to the ground, you do so. If it doesn't want to, you just listen to your body and back or support your head if you feel like your neck needs a bit more support. And the idea here is to just giving that, sort of waking up the obliques muscle, also releasing that tension we may have on the obliques and the QL, quad just lumbering the back muscle. So you can tap in into more your transverse abdominis, which is gonna help you with a lot of our balance work that we're going to do today on the roller. And the feet or the foot release, the, not the foot release, the, the arch of the foot exercise that we did at the start of the class is gonna help you too find your balance a little bit easier. Okay, and we'll list that. Okie doke. All right, now let's bring the roller in the middle of the mat. Okay, right there, right there. Now, make sure that you have your feet or you're able to have your feet on the mat, not somewhere, have your feet half on the mat and half on the floor, so. Have a sit on it. Okay, feet are hip width distance apart, not any wider, not too wide. You need to be in the same line at the center of the hip. And then you're gonna gradually take yourself down. Here we go. Okay, now, settle your body on the roller. It's a little rocky right here. Now adjust the feet a little closer to your pelvis if need to. Arms long by the side. We take an in-breath. We're gonna start with some pelvic curl. Take an in-breath. As we exhale, allow the belly to deflate. Then we're gonna imprint that lower spine down. It's a little bit easier to get to instead of being on the floor. Then you're going to lift up with the hamstrings and come up into that beautiful straight line, the bridge line. In-breath, exhale, use this abdominal and also access it down to the lower spine and print the lower spine down to the barrel, not the barrel, the roller. And then release. Exhale, really use the roller as an assist for you to feel the back muscle, the back spine imprinting to the floor. And exhale, feel the articulation of the spine right onto the roller, one bone at a time and release. 
Again, exhale. We press, roll it up in breath. Exhale. Make sure your feet are still in parallel position and not any wider than your pelvis. In fact, in same line, center of your hip here, last one. Exhale. Reaching, reaching, lifting. Anchor your feet here and stay here. I want you to just press the big toe down and really feel the inner thighs working and then lift the pelvis up a little higher, higher, higher. Then roll the spine back, back, back. All right, brilliant. I want you to stretch the leg away from me down on the floor as you breathe in. So power through your foot, flex the foot and push the foot away. Now I want you to not to arch your lower spine anymore. And I want you to stay as neutral as possible and then breathe out, pull the belly in, allow the belly to deflate as you continue to reach the leg away, opening across the front of your hip in breath. And one more. Bring it in. I want you to now tuck the foot under and ooh, find your balance and bring it underneath you to stretch the front of your thigh as well as the front of the hip. Again, we do not want to overarch your back. We want to stay as neutral as possible. Again, as you breathe out, Really draw in the abdominal muscle, concave the belly. And then use the gravity, allow the gravity to pull down the thigh a little bit more. In breath. Exhale, with the head up, see if your pelvis is actually square, even. One more. Okay, release that carefully, keep your balance, and then we have the other leg. We flex the foot and reach on an inhale, stretch it out, and exhale. Abdominal, pulling back away from the reaching of the leg. And two more breaths. Again, checkpoint if your hip is actually even. Okay. My left one was rising up to my waist as usual. And so, all right, the quad stretch, bring the foot, tuck the knees, bring the foot underneath your bottom on the floor. And then again, allow the gravity to weigh the uh, thigh down, opening the front of the hip, and then use the abdominal to come to act the arch of the lower spine. In breath. Exhale, use your breath. To allow the body to soften into the stretch. Don't fight it. Just go with it. Clear your mind. No restriction. And release that. Okay, keep that balance. Beautiful, adjust the face and make sure the heel the same line as your sitting bone here. So we're gonna work on a single leg lift here. Now I want you to start with the leg away from me. We're gonna reach the heels up, releve in ballet and then lower. And then releve, heels stay up and lower. Again, up, so as you lift and lower the heel, really think about the balance of the supporting leg. So we are, this is my left foot, my left heel is rising up and down. My right foot is down on the floor. So I'm thinking my right foot firming down to the floor and using my right inner thigh to find my foundation. Now, from here, I go releve and I point my foot and I releve and I lower. Releve and I point my foot, releve and lower. Continue with that action and still have a continuous conversation in your body. How can you make this? body balance with that supporting foundation foot. And one more releve, we point, and then we take that journey more into releve, point, and then we lift it up to your tabletop. We lower down, point, releve, and down. And then releve, we point, we lift, and down, and go, and up. We go up, and down, and lower, go, and in breath, 
and shh and in breath and shh and in breath. So I purposely ask you to articulate your foot to take yourself into the leg here. And so we can really work on the you know, articulation on the suppleness of the foot. And, and up, down, and then we switch over the other side. So I've got my left foot on the floor. I'm gonna work on my right foot. So we're gonna elevate my right foot. And I'm gonna elevate my right foot up and then down. Finding my balance through my center, really anchoring my supporting leg, which is my left leg. I'm working on my left inner thigh connection to my big toe on my left and relevate up and down, relevate up and down. One more time, up and down. Now here, relevate and I point my right foot, relevate and then heel, relevate and I point, relevate and down. So I'm just playing with it, testing my balance, founding my foundation, firming my foot down on the floor, and go one more, we point and go there. Now from here, we're gonna lift up to, and point coming up to my tabletop and a lower releve and down. We go exhale. So go through your foot to take the leg up to your leg lift, tabletop. And and down and and down, two more here, and down. The last one, and down. Okay, well done. Hands on the shoulder, elbows to elbows, some shoulder circle, rotate up and down. Just breathe in as you go up, and, and exhale. In fact, just breathe. Inhale. Allow the shoulder to move, loosen up the scapula. One more. And reversing direction, we go down and around. And we go down and around. And three more. Two more. Last. Okay. Arms up to the sky. We're gonna reach up the arm to the sky. Your shoulder blade's gonna come up and peel off from the roller and we're gonna drop it. <sighs> Inhale, reach up and then drop it. <sighs> so pull the scapula away from the roller and then you're gonna drop it with the gravity and hug the roller with the scapula and up. And <sighs> two more, arms are straight. <sighs> Last one, stay down. We open the arms up to the T position. We close. In breath. We close. In breath. Open. And taking care that your rib cage are still nice and wide and lengthening down to the pelvis as you open the arms. One more. Turn the palms towards your legs. Inhale, arms overhead. Allow the ribs to lengthen down to the pelvis. Exhale. Take it down by the side of your hips. In breath. Exhale. Two more. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. Let's take it to the hundreds breath here. Inhale, arms over. As you exhale, arms to the sky and lift the head and the chest up. Come up. Come up. Come up. This is a moment where you're going to check the pelvis, whether it's even left and right. Inhale, arms up and down. We go. Exhale. In breath, arms up and back. And in breath, arms up. One more here. Exhale. Anchor the feet. Anchor the feet. Use the inner thighs. Talk to your inner thighs. Arms up. And then we're going to do a little variation of 100. Two exhale, two inhale. So follow along. We exhale, we lift. 
Inhale, prepare. Exhale, two times. I'm gonna lift the right heel, shh, left heel. Shh. Inhale, lift and lift. So the heels come up, come up. Inhale, shh. exhale. Shh. Shh. Inhale, if your breath can take it, move the arms. Shh. Shh. Inhale, shh. exhale. Shh. Shh. Find your balance. If your arms is too complicated for you, lift them a lot, just move the leg. Exhale, shh. Shh. in breath. Shh. Exhale, shh. Shh. in breath. Shh. And shh. Shh. Can we come up a little higher? Shh. Shh. Last set. Shh. Shh. In breath. And both heels up, both heels down. Arms come up and go down. Brilliant, arms from by the side. Bring the feet closer towards your pelvis. I want you to take your feet into a V. Heels together, bring it a little bit closer towards the roller. Rise up onto the ball of the feet. So we're gonna do my take of the semi-circle, which is normally done on the reformer. You really need to balance. So I'm gonna keep looking up to the sky here. All right, here, we're going to articulate the pelvis up. Then find your balance, take the arms overhead. Hold, exhale, roll the spine down. Come back to neutral and then take the arms back to on the fit side. Exhale, roll up. Inhale, focus on one point on the ceiling. Exhale, roll the spine. And Arms back, roll up, arms up, overhead, exhale, roll down, arms down, two more times here, exhale, keep your focus, keep your focus, keep your focus, in breath, squeeze everything on the heels and the inner thighs, not inner thighs, and the hamstrings and back down. Inner thighs are open. Exhale, I want you to contract your inner thighs, but without squeezing the legs together. You are in open knee position. And last one, roll up. In breath. Exhale, roll down. And arms back. And we made it, release the feet. Now I want you to roll to your side of your body and come off the floor, push the roll up for a second, and then quick, lie on your back. Ah, just the best feeling after you come after roller. You can really feel the whole body just melting down to the floor. Okay, time's up. Let's move on onto our roll up. So I want you to adjust your legs in the middle of the mat. Grab the roller. Okay, bring the roller overhead, holding on with the arms. And we go. We inhale, chest lift. Exhale, we come up, curling up and over to that C curve, in breath, like the traditional roll up. We're just adding the roller in your arms, so a little weighted, in breath. Exhale, press into the roller gently, so you really feel the abdominal muscle pulling into your center. Exhale, so feel your arms muscles working here and over. You may also do this with a bent knee if you feel like the straight legs is a little bit challenging for you today. And exhale, go ahead and modify what is needed for your body. In breath, exhale, roll back, roll back, roll back. And around, one more time, please, we in breath. Exhale, all right, stay there, roll up, pull your pants up, <laughs> mine's falling down and bring the roller underneath you, rolling like a ball. A really fun, interesting one. Okay, now squeeze the roller between your ankles and your thigh. Hands in front of your leg as usual. Curl the spine, stay nice and long, yet rounded. And we go, squeeze the roller, in breath, exhale. Again, if you use to blinking your leg, way to come up you won't be able to do this otherwise you're gonna lose the roller so a really good one to train your body to keep the shape and use your arm muscle in breath exhale two more exhale Whoa, last one 
Exhale, balance, 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 balance. Brilliant. Drop it. Okay, turn face me for the side kick. Okay, so we are going to bring the roller on the side underneath the waistline. I'm just going to move the receiver behind me. Otherwise, it's going to have some crackling noises and you will not like it when we process the video. So, all right, here we go. Onto the elbow. So the roller giving you a little tactile cue for you and asking, it's going to ask you to lift off the roller. So you really contract the oblique muscle here. Now, take the top leg up, flex. We go. Inhale. And inhale. Now, reach and push, push, reach back, resist back. Imagine you're moving the leg on peanut butter, right? So your base is peanut butter. You're going to really resist and push back and then forward and push back and and last one. And reach, reach and bring it in. And let's come up onto our mermaid here. Okay, now sitting nice and tall, making sure your pelvis sitting while it's down on the floor. Bottom arm on the roller here. This arm nice and long too. We're gonna reach away. So I'm thinking, not going into lateral flexion, but I'm thinking about leaning long, little light pressure on the arm. Come back. Inhale, reaching long. Exhale. Use this power to lean and not sink to the floor and putting too much pressure on the shoulder. And inhale, leng lengthening, lengthening. Exhale, last one. Reaching, reaching, exhale. All right, bottom arm comes up, side bend, quick one. And other side. We've got the side kick here all right so let's have the roller underneath around the waistline here legs are straight onto your elbow pull away from the roller and do not sink into the roller it's a little uncomfortable is it i think it is for me right here we go oh hang on hang on balance first all right here we go we got our balance excellent we dorsiflex and we go forward reach back back forward Reach and reach and reach and think for that peanut butter and then push that peanut butter away and forward. Inhale and forward. Inhale. Two more. Last one. Reach back. Bring legs together. Come up for our mermaid. So we've got a triangle leg position, bottom anchor down, this arm nice and long, spine nice and tall, shall we? Inhale, you reach, exhale. I'm thinking lengthening, lengthening, diagonal, this I'm pulling away, exhale. In breath. Inhale, take care of this joint. Make sure you're not hanging into the joint. If you feel uncomfortable here, you're putting too much weight, you need to use more of the bottom oblique and your lats muscle. Exhale. Two more, perhaps don't go too far. Reduce the range of motion. Last one, in breath. Exhale. Good, underneath arm comes up. And side bend, side bend, side bend. Take it up. Okay. Bring the roller right there onto our cat stretch. So we're going to get us up into a quadruped position, but with the roller underneath the hand. So it gives you that little challenge of having to balance the shoulder here. Okay. Now, align the arms with the shoulder, align the knee with the hip. Nice and tall with the spine here. Don't hang for me, please. Right, we pull the belly in. We breathe out, go into a curl, rounding of the back. 
into a flat, arching the upper spine, and exhale. So the roller makes your arm work a little bit more because it has, because it's not balanced basically, it's rolling away from you. Exhale, so pull in that center. And then as you come up into extension, I want you to pull the outer armpit backward into the side of the shoulder, side of the rib, because you actually take the spine into extension. And exhale, do me a favor, press the little pinky down on the roller to stabilize the shoulder a little bit more. Exhale, two more. In breath, extend. The last one, exhale. In breath, extend. Et voila, come back. Okay. Remember that strength that you just work on. We're gonna use it for our extension work. So onto our front, please. Have your arms on the roller. About a third from the wrist to the elbow. Somewhere there. Now we're gonna keep the legs nice and long behind you here. We're gonna move on what we call shoulder blade elevation and depression. So basically you're gonna lift the shoulder blade off from the middle back and then glide it back to the middle back, okay? So have your head just sort of floating on the mat here. We're gonna bring the shoulder blade away from your midline, mid back, and then glide the shoulder blade down in breath. Just play around with the range of mobility that you have. Maybe one side is a bit stickier than the other, and then that's the side that you want to really pull even more. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, glide down. Now as you glide the shoulder blade down, think about the outer, the outer armpit pressing down to the floor and then you glide the shoulder blade. It will activate your latissimus muscle, latissimus dorsi, lats muscle, and down. So pressing the outer shoulder down to the floor as you glide the shoulder blades down. In breath, exhale, last one, exhale. Now keep that shoulder blades gliding down, pick up the lower abs, float your head so your head is between your arms, Keep the neck long, lift the legs off the floor. Let's go for swimming, just the legs. We're gonna inhale, move the legs from the hips. Exhale, so paddle, paddle the leg from the hip joint. In breath, exhale. Now as you move the legs, really try to anchor the outer armpit into the side of the rib cage and glide the shoulder blades down so you feel your middle back muscles working. That's working. Exhale, this is gonna assist you to do the swan that we're going to do next. Exhale. Keeping the neck nice and long. Imagine your head is reaching towards the roller as your legs are pedaling away, swimming away from the shark behind you. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. And hold that and come down. Okay, let's go on to the swan here. So basically, really release the shoulders blade, lift it up, glide the shoulder blades down, then continue the journey in taking the upper back up, middle back up, maybe, lower spine up, maybe, and come back down. Maybe that's not, a, it's not you today. That's okay, just go as far, as high as your body can take it today. Glide the shoulder blades down. You gotta really pick up the lower abs here and the hamstring is to be really on. And lifting the upper back, middle back. Continue pressing down with the arms, yet lifting up with the back. Your gaze is forward, neck is long, and come down as you exhale. Again, in breath, lift forward and up. Forward and up, forward and up, forward and up. Nice and tall, and exhale. Work with your little pinky side in your hand as you come up to your highest point, lifting up. There will help you to get more on the lats muscle here. And you got one more time here. Inhale, let's do your best one yet. Lifting, 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 lifting. 
and downward. Release, release. Brand. Okay, hands onto the side. Push the floor away. Sit the pelvis back to your heels for your rest position. Sway left and right. Do what you like with your back in the rest position. All right, and then go ahead and take a breath with me. Exhale, roll it up. And lifting the spine. Okay, brilliant. That was awesome. Thank you. Wow. Thank you for staying with me. Beautiful work. Keep up the beautiful work, and I'll see you back on the mat tomorrow. Have a good day. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I'm Mira, and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch, and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.